hello there everyone looting farm guy here with another new mod for friday february the 18th it's the john deere s 700 series so yes as you can see it's a pack of two harvesters and they have 3d tracks uh by h sorry j h h g modding uh again uh Big download of uh, megabytes, 56.89 megabytes, so be aware of that. But again, there is a ton of stuff that options that come with these. It's uh, two harvesters. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. And here it is. Is the first one in the S700 series is the S780 S790 series starting price is $216,000 and holds up to 22,905 liters 24 miles per hour they all go 24 miles per hour all right so first option is your tank at the top so we go from 10,600 with various configurations, 14,100, 17, then back down to 14, and then 17, 19, and then 22, 22,905. That'll cost you an extra, I can't, it doesn't show, about $9,000, I think. Wheel brands, uh, Michelin, Midas, and Continental. Again, Michelin, if you pick Michelin, you can get that cost down quite a bit. But that is the lowest you're going to get the price on this is 274 just so you are aware. So wheels, all of these with front drive and rear drive, the Yes, there's a ton of wheel options. Numbers, again, up to six. North America, South America, Australia. There's just stickers. Uh, rear hitch is no. We'll zoom in. Uh, standard or with the uh, hitch extension, Lancota, or the foldable one. We will show that in a moment. Engine setup is you start with the 547 or the 625. Those are the two options. Pipe. Start with the 5.6 as standard. Then you go with the 6.9, the foldable, 7.9, 7.9 new, 7.9 foldable. And then new pipe back down to that. Uh, rear axis standard or wide. And the tailboard, you can choose stand, uh, the, the regular, no cost, standard, and advanced. As far as I can tell, those don't really change anything. All right. So, the S760, S770 series is pretty much identical except for... It's a little less, uh, 19,380 is the most you can put in there. It starts at 7,080, goes to 10, then 14, then 10 again, with a few different versions, 13 and 14, 13, 14, 16, 15, 19, and back down. So there's lots of different styles. Again, same tire options michelin will give you a zero cost if you want and then you have all the different track variations and duels <clears throat> numbers yes north america south america australia again the rear hitch foldable we're going to buy this one and show you that <clears throat> 387 455 horsepower those are your two options so if you pick no options, you can actually, uh, the, the pipes are the same options for the pipe, rear axis, yes, no. <clears throat> the veins again, the, the real ta rear tail board. So let's, I'll just show you, I'll take that off and put take off the numbers and 
standard tipper. So if you have no options and you pick the Michelin wheels brand, you can get it down to 205 as your base price. So let's put that hitch back on there. Uh, where's the hitch? There it is. Let's get that foldable hitch. We'll buy this one and I will show you. Uh, as you can see right now, it's extended, but the harvester is folded, right? So we'll start it up. Let's pull it ahead here. So this is for pulling a header trailer, of course. So, but the, 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 the combine is folded. When you unfold it to get it ready to start harvesting, that hitch folds in out of the way. So in order to extend it, you have to fold your harvester in order to unfold the hitch. There you go. All right. We have have a couple of these in the field. And uh, this one, again, with the tracks, seems to have a little bit of a clipping issue at the bottom, but in no way does it affect the operation of the harvester. Uh, we're going to show you the unloading. Uh, this is the uh, straw swath on this one, and we had the spreading on the other one. We'll show it in action in a moment. Let's just get... I have the short pipe, so if you have the short pipe on this, uh, it's going to be a little tight if you... I got the 45-foot header on this, the base game John Deere 45-foot header. Again, not that great for unload speed, especially since this is probably only the... What is it? Seventh? It could be the 10,000 liter. I think it's a 7,000 liter, so... All right, so... Just watch the straw swath dropping and there you go and we'll go over and show you the other one the side panel I don't think I showed the side panels opening they do open I'll show you that on this one up here so as you can see the uh, the straw spread is uh, is pretty much the same. Let's back it up and show you. This is the 10,000, yes. So I'll show you the uh, unloading there. Uh, while it's unloading, uh, the right stick will open that side panel, uh, L1 and right stick, and then L1, L2, and the right stick back up and down and back and forth will open up those side panels as well so you can see the details and the inner workings and all the hard work that goes on into making these mods and there it is it is so pipe in turn that on and forward we go just show you the uh, the straw swath there. Uh, like I said, I've tried the different uh, types of uh, spreaders at the back, and they all seem they don't doesn't seem to make any difference. It just spreads out that same way. There's no width adjustment that I can tell. Uh, if there is, I I haven't noticed. There could be. And we'll get the worker to go off. Workers have no problem using these. You can see this. Uh, there's a little bit of squat on the tires on the front. That could be what's happening with the tracks. But um, anyways. And there you have it. That is your John Deere S700 series by JHHG modding. 56.89 megabytes to download. A very fine mod indeed although it's a little high on the megabytes, but there are a ton of options on these. I'm Lonely Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. Till next time, bye for now.